Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Cyberpunk 2077 on the PC in yeah in HDR. This video is recorded in HDR but you need to give YouTube a little bit time to actually process the video but then at some point you can see what I can see here. Great HDR especially displays. I love it. I really love it but also what you can see is actually a lot of stuttering because I actually restricted the game at the moment in uh, terms of the refresh rate to 29 FPS. So let me show what I'm talking about because I'm actually using the, yeah, I'm playing in 4K actually with, um, yeah, VSync set to 29 frames or hertz at the moment. The reason is quite simple. So what I'm doing actually, I'm using the ray tracing overdrive setting and the only thing what I have changed is actually film grain off, chroma aberration off and motion blur also off. All the rest is set to high or the standard settings. So ray tracing is on, pass tracing is on. You can't see this here right now, but this is all on. Let me just apply this again. And that's the reason why everything is actually stuttering. My 4080 is not capable of to run this game actually with stable 60 FPS, not even close in situations like this. I mean, 4K and full details and ray tracing and pass tracing enabled is even for 4090 too much. So I have to wait to play this game actually in stable 60 FPS, probably for the 5090. But that's not the point today. We're talking about HDR in this game today. So let's start. And I like to start with the settings, what we have in this game. We have the maximum brightness setting, which is the maximum peak brightness setting in specular highlights. Right now I have set this to 1000 nits, which is the yeah, peak brightness of the LG G2 where I'm testing this game right now. But you of course have to set this to the maximum peak brightness of your screen or monitor. Then we have the tone mapping midpoint, which is one of the most important setting in this game and we're talking about this a little bit later in detail and then we have the paper white setting which is literally just the paper white or the maximum brightness setting for the user interface and that's why I keep it at 100. In the settings menu we have one more setting where we can actually change HDR. We have the HDR mode where we can choose no or HDR10 or HDR10 SCRGB. The question now of course is what is the difference? And to show you actually the difference between HDR10 and HDR10 SCRGB I have changed the analyzer to the color space map and what you can see here right now everything what is black and white is actually SDR color range or color space. Everything what you can see in yellow is the DCI-P3 color space which is already yeah, better than SDR of course or the REC 709 and if there would be any blue color on the screen right now this would be BT 2020. So unfortunately Cyberpunk 277 on the console and on the PC does not offer any BT 2020 color. But let me now show you what is the difference between HDR10 and HDR10 SC RGB. At the moment maximum peak brightness is roughly around 1300 nits and you can see we have around 14% of DCI-P3 colors in the picture. So when we now changing this to the um, HDR10 SC RGB color space or format, let's say like this. And we're going back here. So in terms of the maximum peak brightness, nothing has changed. We have still around 1300, 1400 nits. But as you can see, there is no DCI P3 color space anymore. Everything is just in the REC or BT709, the SDR color space, which of course is a downside because we like to have as much color information in HDR as possible. And right now, we really just have SDR colors. So I strongly recommend that you don't use the SCRGB setting. Always use the HDR10 setting because then you have actually, let me apply this here, then you have actually more color information in the picture. And this game is actually, yeah, it lives from color. So my recommendation is HDR10 over SCRGB. 
So let's talk about the maximum peak brightness in this game and this is a little bit weird. So as you have seen before, I've actually set my maximum brightness to 1000 and the midpoint setting is 1. But when we're looking at the maximum peak brightness, we have roughly 1400, 1500, sometimes even 1700 nits. And this is something what I don't like because if I set the maximum peak brightness to 1000 then I would expect exactly this. The problem is now that in other levels or scenarios I have actually exactly the 1000 nits what I have set in the menu. It's just here or in some other different levels where we have a lot of colors, a lot of light going on where yeah, the HDR is a little bit, how should I say, I, I wouldn't say messed up, but the maximum peak brightness is a little bit too much for the setting what you have done in the menu. Nevertheless, I would not recommend to actually change the maximum peak brightness to match the maximum output on the screen. So again, I have a LG G2 right now where I'm testing this game. Maximum peak brightness of the TV is roughly 1000 nits, but the game tries to output 1400 nits right now, which of course will lead to some clipping and speckle highlights. But as I mentioned before, I found also levels or some scenarios where the maximum peak brightness is actually pretty on spot. So again, I wouldn't change it at all. And to be very honest, what I'm seeing right now on the screen is just amazing. In terms of HDR, Cyberpunk 27.7 is really, yeah, unbelievable. But HDR is not perfect. And now we're talking about the HDR black level floor, which is always slightly elevated on the PC and also on the consoles. And I know that we can't expect always perfect OLED black because even here in a dark corner like this, there is always a little bit light. But we have, or when you look at the waveform or the brightness histogram, there is no way or no sign actually that we have at some point perfect OLED black or a better HDR black level floor. And the thing is right now 0.05 is the black level floor. When we go outside here and yeah, when we look around, you can actually see that even in this bright spot, we're reaching with, yeah, at some point almost 0.05. So there is no difference actually between outside where we have a very bright spot right now and inside where we have this very, very dark spot. So I was expecting a little bit better in terms of the HDR black level floor. And this is what the game makes it, or the game looks a little bit washed out because of this. It's not a big deal because, not a big deal compared to other games, uh, because the black level floor is just 0 0.05. But I would like to have at some point zero and to use the full contrast actually from yeah the HDR picture not just a little bit or let's say like this always having a little bit of elevated black levels this is not the point of HDR in my opinion but again compared to other games even the elevated black levels in Cyberpunk 277 are not too bad and now let's start talking about my recommended settings in terms of HDR for Cyberpunk 277 on the PC, but the same counts actually for the consoles. And I know that people waiting actually for specific settings or recommendation for, yeah, for the LG CX, G2, S95C and so on and so on. But it's very, very hard to make proper recommendations because yeah, the TVs are so different. What I can tell you is what I would like to, yeah, to show you actually and how you should, should actually proceed in terms of settings. So the maximum brightness setting of course is very clear. This is the maximum brightness, maximum peak brightness setting of your screen in yeah, in terms of the LG G2, 1000 nits, of course, the LG CX and similar TVs, 800 nits. And when we're talking about the S95C and the G3, then we have roughly around 1400 nits, maybe 1350, but 1400 nits is probably a very good value. But the most important setting actually is the tone mapping midpoint and not just in making the picture brighter or darker. Also, it will raise actually the black level floor. 
So let me show you what I'm talking about. Right now the HDR black level floor is around 0.05, but this is with the setting one in the HDR settings menu. Tone mapping midpoint is set to one. The standard factory setting on the PC at least is two. And when we now looking at the waveform from the yeah, brightness histogram, we can see that we are now far away from 0.05. We have actually almost 0.25, so roughly four to five times more elevated black level floor than before. And yes, of course, we see more details, but also in very, very dark spots here, it doesn't look quite right anymore because absolutely, it is absolutely elevated. So I'm, I don't like this at the moment. It, it is missing some sort of contrast actually. So my recommendation is actually in terms of the HDR midpoint setting, you need to be very, very careful what you set this to. And my recommendation is actually keep it around one if you can. If you think of course the game is too dark with one, then increase it slightly. But keep in mind, the more you increase this actually, and of course three is absolutely wrong, but the more you increase this, the more elevated black floor level you get. And once again, the paper white setting is purely the HUD or the user interface brightness in the game. It doesn't change anything else than user interface symbols on the screen. I would recommend to keep this as low as possible. Okay, my friends, so that's it for this video. And I know that some people will ask, what about the fine-tuned dark area setting on my LG OLED TV? And I have to admit, I haven't tried this at all. I haven't tested it. What, yeah, in regards of what settings would be the best to actually eliminate the black level rays here in this game. But I have to say that the HDR black level floor with setting the tone map midpoint to one, which you can see here right now, is actually not too bad. 0 0.05 is not too much to have actually, or to get a very washed out picture. It is of course not perfect, but much better than in other games. So in my opinion, HDR implementation, even with the little downside of the yeah, elevated black levels or the not perfect black level floor, HDR in Cyberpunk 27, one of the best, yeah, what I have ever seen.